this is, this is the key point I want to make today. In order to create equality, the only way to create equality, one has to commit violence against those who have, against those who've created, against those who are talented, against those who have ability, against those who contribute more to our life than anybody else. I don't know, you guys know basketball a little bit? Follow the NBA a little bit? Anybody know who LeBron James is? Best basketball player in the world, that's all, you know, big, tall, you know, athletic, unbelievable player, right? So I am a pretty lousy basketball player. I've got all the wrong genes and I haven't practiced that much, right? But you know what? I want basketball fairness. I want to get on a court with LeBron James and have a chance at beating him. I don't think it's fair that when I get on a call with him, he's going to score all the points and I'm going to have zero points because that's what will happen, right? I want fairness. I want equality of basketball. So how do we make me and LeBron James equal in basketball? Right? How do we make it? He's worked hard. He's got the talent. He's got the skills. I don't. Granted, I haven't worked hard. But you know what? <laughs> fairness means equality. So I demand basketball fairness. I want to be able to play with LeBron James on the court at, and have a chance of winning. What would he have to do? Because you can't make me better. Maybe a little bit. And we, not enough to beat him. Not enough to even score one point. How do we do it? Don't be shy. Break his legs. Yeah. <laughs> That's right. You'd have to break his legs. And if you'd seen me play basketball, you'd know that probably wasn't enough and you'd probably have to break an arm as well. <laughs> but that's not funny. Because that happens every day. Some people have a talent for basketball and in order to equate them with people who don't have a talent for basketball, we'd have to break their legs. Some people have a talent and a skill at creating the goods and services that make our lives better. And in order to make them equal to the rest of us, we have to break their legs. Now, we don't literally go and break their legs, but we take 50% of their income. Now, I don't know, you know, you guys haven't had, you haven't worked. Most of you haven't worked. You, 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 you're still, still students. Maybe you've all worked a little bit, but, you know, what is, what is income? What is the money that comes in? What does it represent? When you get a paycheck, what does that represent? It represents the time that you've put in, the effort that you've put in. It represents a big chunk of your life. You're going to spend more time working than doing anything else in life, maybe other than sleeping. Right? That's no fun. So when somebody takes 50% of your income, they're taking 50% of your life. They're taking 50% of your effort, 50% of your engagement, your focus, your energy, your mind. I don't know. I mean, I, I make a decent living. They take 50% of my money. Or should, they or should I have them break my legs? What's better? I don't know. I, some days I think I'd rather the IRS just came and broke my legs and left me alone with the money. Because I could probably fix the legs with the money. 50% of my life is worth a lot to me. A lot. And yet we just take it for granted. It's okay to take it. And Piketty wants to take 80%. He's not, it's not good enough to take 50. He wants to take 80% of my time, my effort, my resources. How, how, does that, how does that get just? That's violence, just like the breaking of legs. 